this is a case where you have a very serious danger to the public. I think the danger of AI is much greater than the, the, the danger of nuclear warheads, by a lot. The failure of your species was inevitable. Mark my words, AI is far more dangerous than nukes. As the future slowly unfolds, more and more obstacles and opportunities emerge. One of these is the development of artificial intelligence, which is perceived to be the next era for humanity. With this, it can provide humans the means to further advance and improve our lifestyle. But one prominent individual who is known for his ventures to promote sustainability may be apprehensive of such technology. Allow us to show you Elon Musk's dreadful foresight about AI. You're watching Tech Binge. A friendly little argument started in a cafeteria regarding the fate of humanity. Demis Hassabis, a leading creator of advanced artificial intelligence and doomsayer, was chatting with Elon Musk and getting their fill of tech pinch. As a massive rocket part traversed overhead, Musk explained that his goal in SpaceX is the most important project in the world as it will allow interplanetary colonization. Hassabis responded that his work on developing artificial superintelligence is the most important project. Musk countered, though, and said that this was one of the reasons why we needed to colonize Mars, seemingly showing concern and anxiety towards the topic. Elon Musk is usually seen as a visionary due to his perception of the future and the ventures he has initiated such as Tesla and SpaceX. These projects that he has started years ago are his way of promoting the need for humanity to create a more sustainable lifestyle. From electric cars to Mars colonies, he's made his name by insisting that the future can get faster. He's usually far from being a technological pessimist as advancement in technology is one of the biggest factors that will get us to the future he describes. So, why is it that when it comes to artificial intelligence, he sounds very different to the point that he called AI humanity's biggest existential threat and even compared it to summoning the demon? In an interview published with Recode's Kara Swisher, he stated that as AI probably gets smarter than humans, the relative ratio of that difference will be quite similar to that of a human and a cat. I do think that we need to be very careful about the advancement of AI. His metaphor of comparing us to cats with machines as to humans in terms of the intelligence ratio sounds like a distant dream to many people, even to a lot of machine learning researchers. This is because scientists, engineers, and programmers who are assigned to this task are still having a hard time to solve even simple-seeming problems with machine learning. Even the most advanced AI in self-driving cars have an extremely hard time to travel for a short distance when under unusual conditions that may come instinctively to humans, like anticipating a biker's movement and intention, for example. It's good to note also that Tesla is manufacturing and improving their own self-driving cars, so it's quite hard to really gauge Elon's do not cross line with this. However, he isn't the only one who sees the potential danger in these types of machines. AI scientists at Oxford and UC Berkeley, luminaries like Stephen Hawking, and many other researchers that published groundbreaking results in this area agree with Musk. The concern stems from the possibility of creating such a powerful technological system at a time where it's under conditions that are ripe for dangerous mistakes. Then what does Musk and the researchers suggest we do? Although they may vary enormously in the details of their approaches, they agree on one denominator, and that is to do more research. Elon Musk specifically recommended that the government should create a separate committee that will gain insight about the topic for a year or two first before making any steps. He's quoted saying, Spending a year or two gaining insights about AI or other technologies that are maybe dangerous, but especially AI, and then, based on that insight, comes up with rules in consultation with industry that gives the highest probability for a safe advent of AI. Despite this being his idea, he personally thinks that neither the government nor any other big tech firms will do what he suggested. Even the jurisdiction or control of the technology was touched upon during the interview. It was inferred that as big tech firms such as Google and Facebook further improve their AI system, the probability of the AI power being monopolized is not that low. As these tech firms are eagerly working towards complex and powerful algorithms, the masses aren't really holding the organizations to a high enough standard of accountability and caution. That is why Elon started the OpenAI, a non-profit foundation to ensure or to reduce at least this possibility. Max Tegmark, a physics professor at MIT, expressed the same sentiments during a conversation with a journalist named Maureen Dowd. 
He implied that when humanity creates a new technology or takes another step to progress, we usually learn from our mistakes and create a counter to it. But with nuclear weapons and AI, we shouldn't take the same course as we did with the rest. Professor Max Tegmark was quoted saying, When we got fire and messed up with it, we invented the fire extinguisher. When we got cars and messed up, we invented the seatbelt, airbag and traffic light. But with nuclear weapons and AI, we don't want to learn from our mistakes. We want to plan ahead. Another person, Nick Bostrom from Oxford, made a case in his book stating that it's actually impossible to stop a badly designed AI system once it has been launched. He went on to say, once unfriendly superintelligent AI exists, it would prevent us from replacing it or changing its preferences. Our fate would be sealed. The inauguration of such an undertaking was closely compared to a rocket launch, where everything has to be done exactly right before hitting the go signal since we don't really have the capability to make even the tiniest of corrections later. Bostrom said in his book Superintelligence that AI systems could rapidly develop unexpected capabilities such as creating a new and better algorithm than a human. This is somewhat getting more and more familiar, like it was shown in a great movie once. This idea has made many people in the AI field thinking that the stakes could be more than what they initially thought. In a conversation with Musk and Dowd for Vanity Fair, Y Combinator's Sam Altman said, In the next few decades, we are either going to head towards self-destruction or towards human descendants eventually colonizing the universe, in which Musk agreed. So in context then, Elon Musk's concerns regarding the topic is not really an out-of-character streak of a technological pessimist. He's not really suggesting to stop the process of developing AI because it's dangerous in all aspects. How could he even since he uses the same type of technology for his work? His concerns actually stem from the idea of what an exceptional transformative potential AI has. He agrees that it will be the next revolutionary innovation that will propel us to greater heights, but he also just wants to emphasize that we can work the other way too. If you imagine AI being a coin, one side gives us exceptional benefits while the other can give us unprecedented danger. It's precisely the people who expect AI to make the biggest splash who've concluded that working to get ahead of it should be one of our urgent priorities. What are your apocalyptic insights? Leave your thoughts down below. You just might predict the future and it should be documented. Before you hit the comment section, don't forget to like, subscribe and ring the notification bell. We'll see you in the next one.